Welcome back again to my channel. As always, I post a new video every Friday, so if you're new here and you haven't already, please take a second and consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. Does that sound sarcastic? I would appreciate it. So for today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are doing a how to draw anime eyes tutorial. Now I do have an older tutorial on my channel about how to draw face, but I didn't go too into eyes, so today is all about the eyes. This is too close. We are going to be doing different styles of eyes and different expressions of eyes, both. So sit back, get your sketchbooks out. You're probably wondering why the lighting on my face is changing so much. Don't know. Okay, <laughs> let's get into the video. So for these first eyes, we are going to be doing the sparkle sparkle, shiny shiny anime eyes. These eyes are big, they have a lot of lashes, they are really shiny, there's a lot of places for sparkles. So starting off with these eyes, I start by making a curve for both of the eyes, making them as even as I can because these are more uh, forward, if we're, if we're facing forward, this is how we're going to be seeing the eyes. So draw a curve for the upper lash line and then a less dramatic curve for the lower lash line. Um, this can vary depending on the kind of expression you want to give it, but for now this is just pretty neutral. And you can vary the thickness of the lash lines depending on if you want to make it look like they have more eyeliner or maybe you just want to change up the style a bit. But um, for this, I'm going to be adding a little bit of a winged uh, eyelash there to signify some makeup. And then I'm adding a bunch of eyelashes because for this style, of course, I'm doing a fun, uh, sparkly, more girly looking eyes. So that's, that's where I'm going for this one. So after I have all of that done, I then move on to kind of sketching in where I want the light source to be for the eyes. So I usually default to making it from the left. That's just what I usually do, but it can be from the other side, depending where the light is coming from. And after that, make a U shape within the eyes. And this will signify the separation between the darker portion of the eyes, whether you want to color that in black or you want to color that in a darker color and the lighter portion on the bottom which is more the iris of the eye um, and then that you can color in any color you can make green eyes blue eyes whatever you want uh, so the coloring within the eyes can vary a lot but when making these kind of shiny sparkly eyes i add a lot of shines eye, eye reflectors in the eyes and then i really put a lot of detail when it comes to shading the area where the color would be in the iris so after that, just add some eyelids and any kind of eyebrows you want, depending on the expression, and there you have it. For the second eyes, we are going to be doing a surprise eye. So like, like somebody's in shock or they're like in terror or disgust or kind of fear. So going with that one next. So these eyes are a lot more simple. Uh, compared to the last one. So again, starting off with the arch on the top there, and for these I'm just going to do some simple eyelashes. Um, and then I'm not going to add a lower lash line, but instead I'm going to make the eyes a lot more long and uh, make them not attached to the top portion. So kind of more in the center of the eye rather than attached to her upper lash line there. And this kind of gives it more of a shocked look and you can make it look more in shock if you make the eyes actually smaller. So depending on the size, you can change the expression. This time I'm leaving out the light source and instead just putting the pupil in the middle and then lightly shading the inside color of the eye there. So by leaving out the light source in the eye, it makes it look a little more surprised and of course just adding in some eyebrows to match her expression. Now these third eyes are more serious. They can be used for guys or girls. They're kind of like both. I, I know this is kind of more like a female eye tutorial. You guys know me and you know my channel, you know I kind of have a problem drawing boys because I'm not very good at it. Believe me, I've tried and I just, I just can't do it. They're more serious. All right, teach you how to draw those. Let's go. So to get a more serious expression on your character's eyes, what you want to do is make the arch a lot less dramatic than you normally would with other styles or other expressions. So make it a, not straight, but almost 
flatter. And here I'm just adding a very thin lash on the top there. Um, and of course, eyes don't have to be exactly the same. They are sisters, not twins. So you can try to make them even, but they don't have to be exactly the same. And the same thing goes for the bottom there, the bottom lash line. I'm making it a lot less dramatically curved, but I'm keeping it closer together to the top lash line to make the eyes a little bit more closed. So here I'm drawing in the eyes themselves, and what I'm focusing on is making them smaller than the other eyes we drew before. And this gives it, again, more of a serious look. And like I said, you can use these for guys and you can use them for girls. They go either way. Um, I'm adding in the light source. And for the coloring of the eye, honestly, you can do any type of coloring within the eye, but this is kind of like a default that I like to do is make the pupil and then add the area for the darker color on top and the lighter color on the bottom and then a little bit of shading in the back of the eye there. So I'm adding some more serious eyebrows. Ooh, serious. <laughs> and uh, there is our eye. Now these fourth eyes are also kind of shiny. I would call them sparkly as in like, oh my god, I'm amazed. You'll understand once you see the eyes. It's like really hard to describe these. So let's do it. So these eyes are similar to the second eyes that we did, the surprised ones. Um, in the way that they have a pretty dramatic curve on the top there for the upper lash line. And uh, in doing that, I'm not making the eyelashes too crazy because I want to focus more on what's inside the eyes for this one. So I'm making the eyes really big and dramatic. So these are the total opposite of the previous serious eyes that we just drew. So the eyes are really big, really dramatic, and again, they are not attached to the upper lash line. And on the inside of the eyes, for this one, they are unconventional in terms of the normal way I would go about coloring the inside of eyes. So I'm doing a kind of like a sparkle star in there. So just in the, it, it's really simple to do in each of the four corners, just make a curve and it'll create this shiny design in the center. And then you can just go ahead and color in the eye color all around that leaving the center part white or even gold if you want to make it look more like shiny stars in her eyes. And paired with some surprised eye brows, uh, yeah, she's, she's having the time of her life. She's really happy. <laughs> so I don't know what you would call these eyes necessarily, but that is how you draw them. Now for these fifth eyes, they are they're actually really sad. Why am I smiling? So, like I said, these fifth eyes are going to be sad, crying eyes. They're actually really simple to do. Let's do it. So when drawing really sad eyes, it's important to keep in mind the angle that you want the eyes to slope at. So. To get that effect and that expression of being really sad, you want the eyes to slope downward rather than upward or more neutral. So the more down you slope the eyes, the sadder the person will look. Um, and of course you can make the eyes a little more open or a little more closed, but you just gotta make sure to keep that slope in there. So for this, I'm doing kind of like a harsh slope um, and then adding the lower lash line there and uh, it doesn't really matter how you draw that one, but I like to curve it downward because I like the look that it gives. And in this point, you now draw in your eyes. And for these, I'm kind of doing really big, sad eyes. Oh, I, I thought it was really cute while I was drawing it, so I got a little carried away. But um, the second key here is to make the eyes really shiny and really sad looking because, you know, when you're crying, your eyes water and they get really shiny. So I want to make it really shiny. And then do the same thing with the U in the eye and leave the space for the color. So um, that kind of carries over from the other eyes that we did earlier. And uh, added another shine in there just to make it look really sad and shiny. And then the finishing touch is in the corner. Add little tears, little teardrops there. Um, you can also make them streaming down the face, but I just put them welling in the corner for eyes. And last but not least, add in really sad eyebrows. So. Um, Put them fairly close to the eyes there, and you are good to go. I'm really sad. <laughs> 
And for these last eyes, hmm, I wonder what kind of style they'll be. Mm-hmm. I'm going to teach you how I draw my basic eyes. Now I do have like a lot of variations of these eyes, but this is like the basic how I go about it. We're just gonna do the apple mint eye style. Mm-hmm. Anyway, let's do the eyes. So drawing my style of eyes is actually really simple. What I do is, like the other eyes, I start off with the top and bottom part of the lash lines. So for mine, I make them kind of like, I, I make kind of like a sharp arch there. Um, not too sharp, but I make, the defining characteristic I'd say about my eyes is the eyelashes. So I make it really long on the edge there uh, and pretty defined. I just make a triangle and then I fill it in and connect it to the rest of the eyelash line. And then I do the same thing on the bottom, but I make it a little less pronounced uh, in terms of the arch of the lower lash line. And then when it's time to draw on the eyes, once I've done that, I go ahead and I add more eyelashes to the top and bottom. Normally, normally I'll do like three on top and three on the bottom, and I make sure I give them a good curve just to make them look a little bit more interesting. And then when it's time to go into the center, I always add the pupil in the center, kind of a long slit almost. And then I add my eye shine source. And typically for coloring, I will uh, cut it kind of in half the eye. And so I'll do the darker portion on top and the lighter portion on the bottom. And then I add a little bit of shading on the inside of the eyeball there too. And um, sometimes the inside, the way I color the eyes varies, but for the most part, that's how I go about it. And then when I do eyebrows, I tend to make them a little thick. I don't like personally doing the little line that you tend to see a lot in animes for eyebrows. So I make them pretty thick and uh, kind of like triangular almost at the end there. And um, yeah, that is how I go about doing my eyes. So those are six different styles or expressions that you can use when trying to draw faces. And I've got them right here. They all kind of look like they're staring at each other, but... Anyway, I had fun drawing all of these and I hope you guys uh, learned something from this. I hope it was helpful. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments down below and I will take a look and I will try to respond to as many as I can. Um, drawing eyes, honestly, there are so, so many more styles and expressions that you can do and you can make them up as you go. Honestly, like possibilities are endless. This is literally just six. So you can take these and build off of them or you can just ignore them completely and you don't need them, okay. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I've got all my links in the description below. My Kickstarter has two weeks left and my online shop is also in the description below along with my Instagram, everything else. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know and let me know what you'd like to see me do next. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye. Also, this is this is Peep's debut in my main videos. Why is he out of focus? Anyway, he's always in my live streams, but look, now he's hiding in my regular videos. Unlike me, I'm not doing a very good job at hiding. I'm right here. Okay, anyway, bye. Bye. Yeah.